Let's make an executive summary of the enlisted ranks and titles for all branches in the U.S. military. Enlisted ranks are designated as E for enlisted and are numbered 1 through 9, with 1 being the youngest recruit and 9 being the senior enlisted advisors. Enlisted men and women who become leaders are called non-commissioned officers, or NCOs. All enlisted ranks get paid the same, regardless of their branch in the military. For example, an E-4 in the Army gets paid the same as an E-4 in the Navy. What varies is the different specialty pays and housing allowances. For example, a soldier who earns jump pay, demolition pay, and language pay earns a lot more than someone who doesn't get any specialty pay. Someone stationed in Washington, D.C. gets more money for housing allowance than somebody stationed in Texas. This is because D.C. has a higher cost of living than Texas. Let's get started with the ranks. E-1 is the first enlisted rank. An E-1 in the Army is called a private. In the Marine Corps, they are also called privates. The Air Force calls their E-1s Airmen Basic, and in the Navy, an E-1 is called a Seaman Recruit. Abbreviations are in the parentheses. Note that E-1s are not yet able to have or to wear rank on their uniform. An E-2 in the Army is called a Private or PV-2. In the Marines, an E-2 is called a Private First Class. The Air Force calls E-2s Airmen, and in the Navy, an E-2 is called a Seaman Apprentice. An E-3 in the Army is called a Private First Class. In the Marines is called a Lance Corporal. In the Air Force is called an Airman First Class, and in the Navy is called a Seaman. An E-4 in the Army is called a Specialist, but if an E-4 is in a leadership position, they're called Corporals. An E-4 in the Marine Corps is also called a Corporal. In the Air Force, an E-4 is called a Senior Airman, and in the Navy, an E-4 is called a Petty Officer Third Class. There are dozens of complicated nuances for Navy ranks. The Navy rank you see now is the silver rank you pin to a cap. If you imagine it black and made of stitching, with a square camouflage background, you will see the chest rank on the Navy Working Uniform Type 3. This is by far the most common uniform rank you will see. An E-5 in the Army and Marines is called a Sergeant. In the Air Force is called a Staff Sergeant. And in the Navy is called a Petty Officer Second Class. An E-6 in the Army and Marines is called a Staff Sergeant. In the Air Force is called a Tech Sergeant. And in the Navy is called a Petty Officer First Class. An E-7 in the Army is called a Sergeant First Class. In the Marines is called a Gunnery Sergeant or Gunny. And in the Air Force is called a Master Sergeant. An Air Force E-7 can also serve in a First Sergeant position. Like all First Sergeants, they have a diamond between their chevrons and their rockers. In the Navy, an E-7 is called a Chief Petty Officer or Chief. An E-8 in the Army and Marines is called a Master Sergeant. In the Air Force is called a Senior Master Sergeant and in the Navy is called a Senior Chief Petty Officer or Senior Chief. An E-8 in a First Sergeant position is called First Sergeant in the Army, Marines, and Air Force. The Navy does not have a First Sergeant position, but since 2015, it does have a Command Senior Chief billet. Let's finish off with three variations of the highest enlisted rank, E-9. An E-9 in the Army is called a Sergeant Major. In the Marine Corps, they are called Master Gunnery Sergeant, and in the Air Force, they are called Chief Master Sergeant. An Air Force E-9 in a First Sergeant position is called First Sergeant. And in the Navy, an E-9 is called a Master Chief Petty Officer or Master Chief. An E-9 in a Command position in the Army is called Command Sergeant Major. In the Marine Corps is called Sergeant Major. And in the Air Force is called a Command Chief Master Sergeant. In the Navy, an E-9 in a Command position is called a Command Master Chief, but sometimes called Fleet or Fleet Master Chief, Force, or Force Master Chief. When in doubt, if you see two stars, be respectful and call them Master Chief. The highest ranked E-9 in each of the services is called the Sergeant Major of the Army, the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps, the Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, and the Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy, called MCPON. Okay, there you have it, an executive summary of the enlisted ranks. As a young lieutenant, I was assigned as the medical platoon leader of the 2nd of the 5-0 Deuce Parachute Infantry Regiment in the 101st Airborne Division Air Assault. 
The battalion commander was the special forces and ranger tabbed infantryman who encouraged me to go into special forces. But perhaps the most remarkable man in our battalion was our command sergeant major. He was skinny and scrappy, hard as woodpecker lips, and about 150 pounds soaking wet. I never saw him without a cigarette in his mouth and a harsh look on his face. He had a combat infantryman's badge from Vietnam and was the most feared and respected man in the unit. He didn't speak very often, but what he said was gold. I appreciated his leadership and mentoring and was able to learn early in my career that NCOs are the venerated backbone of the military. Nothing but respect. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to forward to a friend who also needs to know this. Life is a special operation. Are you ready for it?